about the last five minutes or so of the game, other than the fact that you won? Uh, we won. Um, I like how we executed. It was you know pretty sharp, simple. Ran the same couple of plays. Everybody knew their spots. Um, Jordan did a great job. Um, you know, with the attention that he drew tonight, a lot of the blitzes that they uh, were sending at him. And uh, he was making just the right play, um, hitting it to Sean. Um, Sean, another guy, making big plays in the last five minutes. Um, you know, whether it was four on threes, he had one, hit Corey, Corey drove, float. Uh, other one, he drove, got fouled, whatever, didn't get fouled. But, um, you know, we did a great job down the stretch. So, What do you feel like um, was the commonality when you guys – when they were coming back after you had the 19-point lead in the second, the 15-point lead, I think it was, in the third? Uh, we got stagnant, uh, for sure. Uh, you know, we were rolling in um, was it the second unit. <clears throat> we were rolling for a quick second, and we made some subs, and we just got really stagnant, and um, it bit us in the butt. But, you know, we did a great job coming out the third quarter, which we haven't all year, and, um, you know, really got the game, you know, I think it was to about 12, 13, pretty consistently and um, we closed out um, you know they were probably a little tired coming from that back-to-back -back, um, in Toronto and uh, we took advantage of it and um, uh, team win team win tonight how big was the rebounding advantage you guys had uh, I mean Rashawn was huge um, he was huge for us all night. Um, I know, I'm sure he really wanted this win, obviously playing this sack. And, um, you know, we really just played off of his uh, um, fierceness tonight. And he did a great job. Uh, then he pitched in. Um, but a lot of it was, you know, we kept some bonus off the glass. That's always the key when you play sack. Because uh, he's a he's a workhorse down there. And um, he makes it an emphasis to throw, throw his body and um, get down there and, um, you know, punk people. And, um, you know, we did a good job tonight, so. It seemed like the momentum swings were kind of uh, tied to turnovers, at least at times. So uh, how did you guys kind of settle down when the turnovers? We had just had turnover spacing issues. Um, you know, guys just, you know, trying to make moves and playing on top of each other. And, um, I mean, besides, it, it's not even really about offense because we had a 19-point lead and let it slip. Uh, it's really a lot of defensive issues. Uh, Fox got hot. Um, he was due to get hot because he started a game out probably 0 for 8 or something. Um, he hit about three straight threes or something, something like that. So um, that's what great players are going to do in the game of basketball is the game of runs. And, um, you know, we just combated their runs and made more runs. So, Hey, Kuz. Speaking of runs, I was uh, asking Coach about the run to end the first half where Sacramento, I think, outscored you like 21 to 4. And he talks about how it's easy for players to forget how they got the lead. So can you just talk about how he coaches you to withstand those runs and come back better? Uh, I mean, he, he gives us a lot of confidence, uh, gives me a lot of confidence uh, to be myself and play my game. And um, I mean, throughout the group, I think he does that pretty well. Um, you know, he was pretty animated after that 21-4 to four run, uh, rightfully so. And, um, you know, we responded. We responded well. And, um, you know, response to something we haven't really done. So it's good to, good to feel from the group. Unrelated to tonight, I'm just curious if you've, able, if you've been able to share the court at all with uh, Tristan Vukovic, if he's been spending time with you around the clubhouse or anything like that? Nope, not at all. Uh, he's been around, been on the um, bench a little bit past couple games, um, being able to be around a little bit. Uh, but I, you know, kind of kept track of him, chatting back and forth throughout the season. You know, when he was over overseas, so um, look forward to playing with him at some point. Kuz, how do you find a kernel or two of growth or a development that can maybe carry over to next season? I know you've got games left this season, but are there things that you're seeing that go, okay, well, it's something we can start to build on? Uh, you know, just togetherness and being there for each other, uh, playing on the string defensively. I think, you know, if we can kind of figure out some type of defensive rotations, um, I think that's a, that would be a positive. Playing with pace and space every possession, that's a positive if we can get to it. Um, you know, and then also just like continue to learn our teammates because uh, a lot of times the basketball is it's not X's and O's. It's about 
mismatches and advantages. So like knowing if JP likes to go right, you know, sit the screen so he can get get over top and get downhill. Same with me. Um, you know, learning Denny, learning the spots that guys are successful at. If we can do that as a team, you know, it really doesn't matter about the X's and O's part. So those are the little things that we can kind of carry over and hopefully, um, you know, can springboard us into next year. So uh, now that oh, now that Bilal's rookie season is over, just what do you think of the year that he had? Um, up and down like a rookie. You know, um, I think uh, his greatest his greatest uh, trait is his um, he's very inquisitive. I think that's a very important uh, you know trait to have. You know, he wants to learn, um, understanding why things work a certain way, um, how things go about, and um, for your first year in the league, you know, it could be a, a whirlwind, and I'm sure it was for him a little bit, especially. Not really having that much time off, coming from um, you know Metro straight to the summer league, straight into this. That's a lot, and um, you know I give him credit. He's a he's a workhorse. He loves the game of basketball. Um, he wants to get better, and <clears throat> his offense will catch up to his defense. Um, it's just a matter of time and confidence and reps and and, and learning what you want to do on the court, um, and that takes a while. It takes a while for all of us to figure out what we are strong at on the court, and he will eventually. So, where do you think his defense is at? Uh, I mean, I think he's more ahead defensively than offensively. Um, you know, I, I think he just has a knack for, you know, sliding his feet, um, using his hands, obviously, um, getting weak side blocks. Um, his next step is, you know, just becoming like that savant and being that basketball head and, and, and understanding um, 